Hello, Gemini. Thank you very much for tuning into my channel today. This will be your reading for November 2019. I would like to say thank you very, very much to all my new subscribers. I've received some beautiful comments and it, it really, really warms my heart. So thank you very much for that. Um, also, if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the new videos I do post. And so, yeah, um, this will not resonate with every Gemini, but please let me know if it does. I, I love to hear that I'm helping people. And if it does not resonate, feel free to check out your moon and rising signs as well. Um, and also feel free to reverse the roles here. It could be, you know, if it's not your energy I'm picking up, it could be someone in your life. Okay. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first one... Excuse my cat. <laughs> that happens a lot. Um, anyway, the first one I noticed was resilience. It just caught my eye. Um, and what I'm getting from that is I feel like you've been through a lot of struggles, Gemini, like life altering situations that have made you very strong, very resilient. Okay. Um, I also kind of feel like you, you carry a, a lot of other people's burdens. Okay. So maybe in a, if you are in a relationship or previously, um, you know, you do all the heavy lifting financially, emotionally, taking care of the family. It's like you're exhausted. Okay. This could also be where you're in a partnership, a marriage, a relationship, whatever, where both of you have endured hardships together. It has been a very intense relationship where you both have had to face things together or it's a relationship that's been you know up and down up and down we break up get back together and you guys just can't seem to get away from each other right we've been through a lot together okay so initially that's what i was picking up from just the one card okay and then we also have protection okay it's like for you, Gemini, I feel like it's very important that you protect and help those around you. Okay. Like I said, you take on a lot of people's burdens. Okay. You'd like to help. You want to be there. Um, and I also feel like this is, you know, spirit trying to tell you that you're all, you are always protected as well. Okay. You are being guided. You are protected. You're watched over. If you have a loved one that has passed or anything like that also, I feel like, you know, they're trying to tell you, you know, we're watching over you. Um, or you could be in a relationship where someone's really overly protective of you, or you have someone in your life that's very protective of you. Okay. Um, we also have boundaries. Um, I feel like because you've, you've been through so much and you learn from your experience, you know, your own boundaries as a, as a person and you respect other people's boundaries as well. Okay. But what else, what, <laughs> What I am also picking up from this card is that maybe you're in a relationship or you're in separation or, you know, take it how it resonates, but someone is blocking you out. Like they've put a bubble around them and they're, they're kind of keeping things at a standstill for you where you're kind of unsure where this is going because they're kind of, you know, like I said, blocking you out. Sorry, I'm going to change this. Um... Hold on real quick. I got too much going on here on my music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. That's a little more relaxing. That last music was a little intense. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah. So I feel like um, either you are blocking somebody off or this person, okay, is kind of blocking you out. Um, and, and I also kind of feel like there's just been a lot of drama and just a lot of stuff you guys have gone through. Maybe you've had a lot of losses in your family. I don't know. You know, whatever you've gone through, I feel like it's been a lot on the relationship. Okay. Um, and what I'm seeing here is it's like, you know, Gemini, I feel like you want, cause we have, um, purity here and we have balance. And I feel like you want a fresh start. When I see purity in, in this situation, it's telling me like a fresh, clean, pure start. Okay. Um, you, you want something, you know, basically a new beginning because what we have here is 
your beginnings are in reverse. So something's being delayed. Your, your new beginning is being delayed and that's what you want. You want to start over. If you're in a current relationship where things, you know, the spark is gone or you've just had so much struggles in the past together, you just want to start over. You want things to be balanced again because things are kind of out of balance. So these two together is what I feel like you are desiring. Um, but you know, what you truly want, because we have fruition, it's, it doesn't feel like it's coming into fruition. Your beginnings, everything's kind of being delayed here. And it could be because you've put up boundaries that you don't know of, or this person is, and they're blocking you out. Okay. Um, the, these two cards also balance and purity could just indicate also you as a person, Gemini, like you have a deep sense of balance within you. You know, what is balance? You're aware of when things are out of balance. Okay. You also have, you know, a, a deep, pure innocence about you, very sweet, calm, loving demeanor. Okay. And you want someone who understands that and has similar qualities. They just, they, you know, someone who can appreciate that about you. And like I said, it means you want a fresh start and you want balance in this relationship or a new relationship. Okay. Maybe this is just an entirely new person that you're longing for. Just something that brings you that. Okay. I also feel like though, um, with beauty reversed, it's either you not seeing your own beauty or the person that you're with. Like I said, if you've been with someone for a long time, you guys have been through a lot. Um, maybe they're not noticing your beauty as much as they used to. And, and that's making you not feel very good about yourself physically and emotionally. Okay. Um, maybe this, you know, you're just not telling yourself that enough or the person that you're with doesn't tell you that enough. They're not really appreciating your beauty as much as you would like. Um, not giving you the attention that you desperately want. Okay. But it could very well also be you, Gemini, not giving that to yourself because that's more important is giving that to yourself than looking outwardly for that. Okay. Loving yourself first instead of looking out for that. Okay. Um, but I definitely see, cause you know, you want this fresh start and you want all these, you know, and something is blossoming because we have the blossoming card. So something is in the process of coming into fruition. A new beginning is on its way. It's blossoming because, I mean, even look at this card. It's either the plants and the growth coming off of that, everything you've been through. There was something blossoming all along, I feel like, that you, you know, it was just being done under the surface. So all this struggle that you've gone through with a particular person or just by yourself and you're ready for a fresh start, that could also be a job, a new place to live. Um, or you're ready for just a, a new person entirely. Like I said, something is blossoming or it's about to. Okay. And so what that means, it could be another chance in this relationship could be this person, you know, starts blossoming also and changing and realizing how beautiful and important you are to them starts remembering what they forgot because maybe you guys just got lost in the struggles of life together and and that happens all the time it's very hard to stay connected to somebody if you've been with them for a very long time because you both are growing sometimes at different paces and it's hard to reconnect sometimes okay but i definitely see something is blossoming something new is coming so those beginning the new beginning the fresh start and um, seeing your desires come into fruition that is going to happen and i feel soon okay so i'm just gonna get a couple more oh oh my goodness no way this one was the first one that flipped out blossoming abundance gemini we're just talking about blossoming. See, that's, that's absolutely a sign. I'm telling you, you, something is blossoming. All this struggle that you've been through was for a reason. Okay. And also I just noticed, I don't know if the number three is important to you, Gemini, but this card has number three and this one's 33. So maybe that is significant to you. That's incredible blossoming abundance and the blossoming 
yeah, from two different decks. I love it. What else? Okay. Well, how many we got? I'll take them. Why not? Okay. Oh. Let's see. The, okay. The Thinking Woman. Okay. Um, now, you know, this could definitely be you, Gemini, and it could also be the person you're dealing with, okay, depending on what you're, you know, what energy you're resonating with here. But I feel like it's just you, see how she's standing at these steps here? That's you ready for the, the next level, a new beginning. It's just basically confirming what we're saying. You have been really thinking hard on this. You're ready for the next thing. You've done your work. And you're ready to move on to the next level here, okay? And then we have man holding a coin in reverse. So maybe the person that you are dealing with, you know, hasn't been acting in your best interest. Like I said, maybe they're not, um, because at the beginning of this, we were saying like, you're doing all the heavy lifting financially, emotionally, taking care of the family, if that's what situation you're in. And the person that you might be with isn't, isn't putting in the work, okay? They aren't trying hard enough to make this better. They're not helping you enough because it is reversed. So this person is um, doing something that's not in your best interest, okay? Um, so yeah, definitely, you know, I'm hoping that for you, either way, something is blossoming, but this person, you know, I'm not quite sure if they're going to be on the same level as you, Gemini. That's something you're going to have to look at and analyze, you know, with the thinking woman. You're going to have to really decide if this person can't take you to that next level, to this, you know, into this new beginning, this fresh start, then that's something that you're going to have to decide, okay? And walking away, okay? So this could just mean, this could very well mean, like I was just saying, okay, maybe you will have to decide to walk away from this person if it's really not serving you anymore if they're not willing to put in the effort and you're doing all the hard work all the heavy lifting you might have to make that decision to walk away okay but you need to listen to your intuition on that um it can also just mean you know maybe it could also indicate this person that, that you're wanting a fresh start with is gonna walk away from this this um, area in their life where they've been disconnected from you, okay? Leaving that behind and starting a, doing a fresh start with you, okay? This could mean several things. Okay. So we have Goddess of the Moon, okay? That's a very, very powerful card. Um, that is you coming into your complete power, Gemini, basically. A direct connection with the divine, your intuition, becoming the goddess that you truly are. And that's what I'm saying, is I feel like that's what's been blossoming for you. You're ready for a pure, sacred beginning for yourself, okay? You're ready to move to a higher level in this connection. And if it's not with the person that you're currently with or whatever, then, you know, maybe you're going you're moving towards something that will match your level here because I definitely see here that the person you are with isn't putting in the effort. They're not matching what you're giving. Okay. They're not giving any, anything in return and you're exhausted. You're tired of trying. You're ready to walk away. I feel like because you're realizing how powerful you truly are and that you don't have to do that. I just want to get one from a couple from the animal spirit deck, which these don't, I'm going to try one more time here. I'm just going to draw. Okay, so you got the lizard. Regeneration. As a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. Embrace your transformation. Put on your cloak. You are a master of regeneration. Yes. Okay? So, it's like no matter what happens to you, Gemini, you can adapt. So, if this new beginning requires a change in your life, you're going to adapt to it. And, and it's, you know, spirits telling you just embrace this transformation. 
put on your new cloak, accept this new beginning, okay? It might be a bumpy road before you get there, but, you know, just accept that you are on a guided path, okay? You're the master of regeneration. You're the regeneration. I mean, that means <laughs> regenerated, right? A fresh new start. It's exactly what that means. And that's what's coming towards you. I mean, that couldn't get any more clear. And then you got the squirrel, always prepared. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. Okay? So, yeah, I mean, Gemini, maybe you definitely like to be prepared. Maybe this is something where you want this fresh start, um, but you're really looking ahead at the future and, and making all these plans and be like, well, this, you know, I feel like you're getting a little bit of anxiety because you're not sure how this is all going to work out for you. Okay. But this, you know, just make a plan, have what it is, focus on in your mind, what it is you truly desire and, and life will give you all you need. Exactly what it says. Okay. And it's also telling me that you're the kind of person, um, who's very, it says expert of hard work. Like I said, you carry people's burdens. You, you do the heavy lifting. You are a very hard worker. You're a protector. Okay. Um, but you like to be playful too. You, you want to have time to have fun because it says you have your cheerful and fun disposition. It's like, I feel like you haven't been able to do that because you've been so, um, overloaded with other people's burdens, taking care of everybody else and nobody's helping you. Okay. And it's time for a fresh start. It's not fair that you have to put in all the work and nobody's helping you. You get a couple more here. a little more just randomly okay let's see oh yeah love it's not about finding love you are love itself help me to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember I myself am love right I, I said this earlier in the reading um you know how this person is it making you feel good about yourself they're not telling you you're beautiful you know enough and it's not even about that like i said it's it's more so you need to tell yourself it says i myself in love that's something spirit saying you need to remember that that you have enough love you're the goddess you have enough love within you that you don't need to seek outwardly for that contentment you can learn to rest in what you already have and already are. Suddenly you remember, I'm right here resting in spirit. Yeah. So it's, you know, I think that's just telling you, you know, take take a breath here, Gemini. Like I said, I think you've been working very hard. Um, and it's not like you need to forcefully make this new beginning happen, okay? It's being guided. It's going to fall into place. Um, just, just rest. Okay. Embrace what you have in your life right now. Just rest. Don't worry about what you need, how you're going to get rid of this person. It will just naturally come to you. Okay. And it says, suddenly you remember I'm right here resting in spirit. Yes. You are going with the flow. You're letting spirit guide you and, um, it'll all just fall into place. True love. Wow, I've actually never pulled this card. Your wholeness and safety lie within, not from a partner. But this sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet and know true love. Once again, okay? It's about feeling, oh yeah, content. I was just going to say, feeling content when you have the contentment card. So that goes with that as well. Feeling content with yourself first, okay? And, you know, also, if you begin feeling just content with yourself and stop seeking outwardly for attention or, or feeling like you're not being fulfilled in that way, if you really desire this person and you want their attention, whoever it is, when you get into your full power and realize the goddess that you are, 
and give yourself the true love. Give yourself the love. This person is going to look at you and be like, whoa, why did I not see that before? How powerful she truly is, you know, because once you truly love yourself, that energy radiates off of you and people are just drawn to it. <laughs> so it's so important to learn to love yourself. Okay. And that's a very hard thing to do. Um, but it's work and it's just, you know, taking time to really accept yourself and, and, and love yourself. Okay. Um, and it says it leads to the deepest intimacy. So it's like, you know, you could, if you start learning to love yourself more, you can be more intimate with certain, in certain relationships. Okay. It just leads to a whole different level of love when two people that know how to love themselves, um, on that deep level come together. Okay. It's absolutely incredible. So yeah, that was your reading for November. Um, but yeah, definitely a blossoming, um, fresh new beginning is coming for you, like hitting the reset button, regeneration, okay? Um, and it's being protected. You are protected, like I said at the beginning with the protection card. This whole thing is being protected. It's being guided, okay? So keep that in mind. Just try to focus on loving yourself and just being content with where you're at and let things just, just go, okay? Listen to your intuition and you'll know which direction to go to bring this new beginning into fruition with the fruition card. <laughs> okay. All right, Gemini, please let me know if you enjoyed this reading. Okay. Cause I enjoyed doing it for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.